Hi everybody, this is Tavastian Kings. This is going to be a presentation on King Arthur's Legends Rise. This is a game that I had the opportunity to play the second beta. And uh, eventually what happened is that they shut things down. Uh, they refunded everybody their money back if they didn't made, made any purchases, which I really appreciated. And then they went uh, and for nine months, it changed hands between Kabam and the Marble. And essentially what they did is that they reshaped the game. They fixed the little uh, mi minor nuances that the several of the beta player encounter and then finally here we are a uh, couple days before halloween and they had an early access launch so if you're in the united states you can actually get the pc client for it which is here what this is exactly what i'm playing on is the pc client but if you prefer to download this on an android or apple device you can definitely do that i will put the uh the link to Netmarble's website on the description of this video so you can go ahead and download it however you want. Now, just like any other uh, any of the other gacha games that you might be familiar with, this is the dark fantasy, has that feel to them. Uh, it's a turn-based uh, gacha game. You're definitely gonna need to collect your heroes. You're gonna need to synergize your heroes, uh, especially if you need a particular buff or a debuff. Uh, if you want to bring somebody in with a lot, uh, ally attack, or if you just need a protector or a healer, you're definitely going to uh, try to make a composition that entails all of those heroes. So here, let me go to the codex really for uh, really quick, because you're going to again uh, get a chance to familiarize yourself with the heroes uh, of the game if you are thinking about uh, joining us here. So you see here that we have a little group of legendaries that you can come in and summon. Tristan is somebody that you're going to be able to get for free. The other one that you're going to be able to get for free is Morgan, and I'll tell you why here in a minute when we go to the summoning portal, but these are the two. They right now have a booster rate summon banner for Merlin. All of these three heroes are phenomenal. So if you're thinking about re-rolling with the first 10 tickets that they give you, there is really no need. You're going to get some excellent legendaries. And then if you are re-rolling for a specific hero because you want somebody that can do a lot of damage, like a, a Bedebeer here, just keep in mind that some of the aspects of the game is that you're going to need a lot of dupes to give them even more stats, make them stronger, but really what drives the character are the relics. So we have here relics in this game, so it's different weapons that you're going to need to summon separately to make your hero uh, stronger based on the type of relic that he has so as you can see here if i decided to go with the frost relic his attack ignores 10 percent of defense so here let me uh I'll, I'll come back this to in a minute but i just want to uh, kind of show you the interface of the codex and how the heroes here are uh, laid out so uh we have the legendary group here now this game calls them rares but they are really epic so these guys here in the blue outlines these are the epics you wanna wanna build these heroes because each one of these heroes may give you something that you're going to need here in the, in the long run uh, for example i believe that there is one hero in here uh, that uh, gives you healing. There's another one that has anti-healing that you're going to need for a particular dungeon. So you're definitely going to want to keep an eye on this. Arthur, listen, he might seem weak at the beginning, but initially you're going to have to build him as well because he has story modes that are specific to him and you're going to need to beef him up to pass those story modes in the chapter campaign. They also hear here of the uncommons, which essentially are like rares. That's the best, uh, best way to... Um, to describe this along with the comments. Now, you're going to get dupes for this, and you're going to use those dupes essentially because eventually what you're going to do is accumulate enough of them so then in your clan shop you can buy duplicates of the heroes that are going to allow you to then elevate their chivalry. So let me go there. Uh, let me go to the... So like Tristan here is one of the heroes, uh, legendary heroes that I was able to get because I completed Chapter 3. So that's essentially what, he, uh, what what we got from him. You can see that I'm going to need uh, to scale up his levels to make him uh, his each one of his skills a little bit um, 
more powerful. Uh, you can see here that he does have a cooldown of five turns. So that's essentially is what we're building up to here is that these heroes need bigger to uh, able to execute their skills. You're going to see that in battle along with also getting they have an attack gauge. So with that attack gauge, it then kind of then tells them uh, who if they're able to fill up their attack gauge a little bit quicker than another hero, they're going to be able to take their turn a lot quicker or even beat the enemy behind it. So you can see here, these are all the heroes that I have right now. These are the ones that I started particularly already playing with. So here we have K, K, uh, very good AOE damage dealer. So this is a perfect rare or epic to start with if you need to build somebody to help you with the early campaign. Definitely uh, not, not a bad uh, set of heroes to to go for let me go here back to tristan because one of the things here if you play games like raid shadow legends watch your realms awaken chaos era uh we're gonna get gear that has variable stats and you're gonna be able to farm a lot of these gears and as you can see here this is what going to power up our heroes so similar methodology applies so you're gonna you're gonna have uh, you're gonna be able to go get these and farm them out you can also buy them if you want if that's what you want but here is the reason that I, I really do think that you do not need to go ahead and really reroll to try to get a specific hero yes some of the legendaries are more powerful than others eventually you are going to get them if you do play long term but at the same time you're also going to need to summon relics right so the relics really defines uh, what the hero is going to be able to do. Some relics are a little bit more powerful than others. So uh, I can't remember exactly for Tristan uh, if it was the flame, uh, flame or frost, which is the affinities here that we have in the game. Actually, so if you if you're looking at this here, uh, flame is uh, weak against frost, and uh, storm is weak uh, is stronger to, uh, to to frost here. So and then flame beats uh, is strong to to storm. So you're gonna have these three affinities here, and then you can change the affinity based on the, the battle that you're going into. But at the same time, each one of these, uh, each each relics here, gives them a different power up. So you can see here that as I'm clicking on the on the relic, uh, I'm gonna take myself off screen here for a minute. But as I'm clicking on the relic, you can see the bottom here changes. So that is because the skill gains something uh, in addition. So for example, here with the the um, the flame uh, I'm gaining attack speed increase for one turn in this one and in this one I think I get attack age by 30 percent so that increases so if I then switch to frost this then changes to inflict attack speed decrease so in that some situations I actually may need this or in this situation here uh, if the target has protection it deals additional damage two times so that's just kind of the examples that i can give you so you also going to need to summon the relics for these heroes to make him powerful so it's not really all about just getting the hero you're going to need extra copies of him and you are going to need uh in addition to that you're going to need the relics to make him powerful what do you do with the dupes that's exactly here you apply them to these skills so based on when you apply them where these apply they gain extra stats or they get some type of ability where they can apply a debuff or they gain some type of a buff so that's essentially then all of them this gets added and then um they get the the power up uh you also can purchase them if you want this that uh, i think that these are called like uh, summoning storms or uh, a com a completion stones but if you don't if you don't want to summon for the uh if you just want to go direct and get as many of these as you can in the shop you can just to level up your legendaries if you want and then, of course, you can promote them to six star. You can level them up to 60. Right now, mine is 20 out of 20. So definitely, I need to start opening the dungeons to be able to farm uh, these materials here. Uh, so I can, uh, at least in, in, in this game, they call them, uh, they call uh, advancing uh, the hero. So it's like promotion in other games is uh, essentially what it comes down to. So as I can tell you how the makeup of building a hero comes into play in this game you are going to need to do a lot of chapter stuff. 
So let me move here uh, to that. When you come to the game, do your chapter stories, try to advance in here as much as you can to then open up different areas of the, the state, right? You're gonna be able to open up the forging, you're gonna be able to open up the market, etc., etc. So then you are able to then um, uh, to really get things going in your account and eventually you're going to be able to open up the dungeons that you need to start farming experience and gear and everything else that you're going to need to be able to get your heroes and characters to become a little bit stronger. There are different chapters laid out here. Let me see if I can uh, back up uh, to go to the chapter uh, menu uh, here. Let me go to the chapter menu as you can see here. I've already done the first three. I've collected all the possible rewards. And now I'm in chapter four. I'm going to try to advance to that. And eventually you're going to get to chapter, uh, you're going to be able to scale to up to chapter 10. But then after you're done with normal, you have hard and you have hell uh, that you're going to have to contend with. So that's essentially what this is going to entail. But that's essentially what we're driving towards is be able to advance to the chapter stages and at the same time level up our heroes, promote them, ascend them and do everything else possible in in, uh, in the game. Now, uh, one of the things that I will tell you the one if you're looking to just spend a little bit of money in the game this year, this and you have to play it. This is where the value comes in for $20. You're going to be able to get this battle pass. What is seeing here is a legendary hero ticket. So you're going to get a legendary. That's it. You're summoning a legendary essentially. So by, by buying the, the, the whole uh, the, the, the champion pass here, you're going to get one legendary out of this. And you're also going to get summoning tickets along the way and uh, material to increase your shibbery as well. Memory stones. Those are what they call you can see here that then uh, you can also get uh, passes, summoning tickets for the special banners that they have in the game. So I am saving the summoning stuff for last, but I'm just kind of giving you a brief rundown of what this entails. Uh, we also had here some signing rewards, if I remember correctly, and there's some free stuff that you can collect every day. These are, I would say, these are the diamonds. Try to save them as much as possible because eventually down the line, that's what you're going to need to, to do uh, some of your farming uh, when it comes to, to the game. In, initially, just go through the campaign. Try to do as much as you can wherever you get stuck. That That's your hint. That's your hint that your heroes need to be leveled up a little bit more just to start the game and you get a feel... Uh, fresh feel for what the game entails. Now, let me go back here to the state. All right, so here I am in the state. One of the things that I would suggest that you do, if you can, come here to the basic training, get some rewards out of this. You're gonna get some summoning tickets here. So if you wanna do that, and then there's the intermediate one. So you, this is something that I have to complete. Uh, that's something that uh, you're able to do. There's a little fountain ex ex uh, experience potion. A fountain you can level this up so especially just a way for you to be able to farm some experience potion while you're not playing the game uh there are forging areas here so as soon as we unlock this we're going to be able to come in here and forge some gear and make sure that i don't i'm not missing anything else that you can look for really early on uh, this is the power up dungeon. Yeah, so I already have two of them open that I can come in so I can try to get some orbs to promote my heroes if I wanted to. This is where I'm going to come in and try to get the early ones. But also then we uh, unlock Gorgos here. So we're going to get some gold and some experience. So I need to increase uh, the levels, right? So then I can farm the uh, optimal amount of experience that I can with the power that my heroes do have. Eventually, as I progress through the campaign, I'll start unlocking all of these. And that's where the rest of the videos will come in. So let's close it out by uh, me telling you about the summoning portal here. So as you can see here, there's the raid up summon for Merlin. This is a banner specific for him. What are you going to be able to use, uh, get out of it is uh, that if, uh, if you do get uh, if you hit legendary or you get to the 60, you have a 50% chance that this guy is going to be the one that you summon. So definitely a rate up for uh, Merlin. He's a very good hero. So if you wanted to spend to try to get him, that's fine. You're also going to get 10 uh, special tickets here in the Sarai Summon. This is for new accounts. This is where you're going to get uh, Morgan right away as well. 
Uh, I have some summons here for uh, to get rares into a account and get them developed. So that's essentially what these are. You're just getting the rares, the commons, and the commons, and then you can upgrade those heroes based on your needs on the account. This is the regular banner, the special summon banner. So this is where you're going to be able to summon and commons to legendaries. So just to kind of give you an idea on the rates, 1.67% chance that you're going to get a legendary out of these. And the rest is uh, whether it's going to be a rare, 16%, or they're going to be the uncommon pool. Now, this is where I was telling you that this is what's unique about this game, that in addition to you summoning the hero, you're going to want to come in and summon relics because the relics really is what adds the variety to the hero that you're going to uh, that you're going to be able to summon. So you're here, here, you see the rates for the relics, same as a legendary. Uh, then each one of our heroes has the relics for the specific affinity that you're pursuing. So if you're looking to get flame for a hero because you have heard that the, the hero does better in flame than in storm, then go ahead and do it. So that's essentially what's going on here for frost. Same thing. You can get the, 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 the weapons for the legendaries and um, the same thing here for storm. Now, if you get duplicates of this, then you're going to use them to level up your relic. So then you can get extra stats from the relic. That's essentially what is laid out here. All right. So because um, the video is getting a little bit long, let's just close it out. And let's start doing some, uh, some of the summonings here that I have been able to collect by just playing the game. And I did purchase a $6 pack and a $3 pack. And so that's essentially what I'm going to get out of this. So here we are. We got Amelia. And then everything, uh, so it's a new uncommon hero. So at least now I'm expanding the roster. So that's essentially what I was looking for. Here I have my rise summons. So this one here, I'm going to go ahead and use it all. And hopefully, so there's the animation. Anytime you hit a legendary, the sword hits gold. And so this is the one that I was telling you we're going to get Morgan added to the account. So that's another legendary vengeance that we can use. Only begets more vengeance. Excellent. Very good hero. She was fun to play this in the beta. So I'm assuming that she's going to be just the same as she was. And I uh, got an extra copy of Arthur's and then I can upgrade him. Uh, and I think he's new. So these four here were now expanded to the my account. So this is good because now uh, my, my codex is expanding. Let me make sure I don't have anything else here. Uh, flame relic. So we do have uh, relic summons. So I'm going to do that uh, just for the video. Um, I think you want to probably wait until you get 10. So here it looks like I'm going to get one for a rare. So whose uh, relic is this going to be? It's going to be the Crucial Measures uh, for Sarah. Okay, perfect. So we'll save that. We'll put that in our inventory. When we get Sarah, we can equip that with it. I think that if you wait uh, to get the 10, as it says here, you're guaranteed a rare. So that's why you want to wait until you get a 10 pool, essentially is what it is. But let's use this because these are relics to heroes that are probably going to most likely have in the account. So here we go. So this is a rare. Perfect. And this is going to be Sarah's Burning Cold. So now I have two relics for uh, Sarah. I can't remember uh, which uh, which affinity she comes in. So this might be e good uh, if uh, uh, it allows me to do three. But if I already have one of them, at least then I can upgrade it now. Okay, another rare. Perfect. And this is the Earthbreaker for uh, Carmack. Okay, that's fine. We'll put that in the inventory. We did well there as well. Uh, now here, uh, we do not have Storm Relics. Okay, that's fine. We're going to go chase those tickets. So let me here. Uh, we're going to go here. Uh, this is a rate up summon for Merlin. So I do have 10 of these. So I'm going to use these 10 and see what we get. So if it turns gold... That means we get a legendary and blue. No, it's just blue. At least we're going to add some uh, uh, rares, epics into the account. Perfect. Uh, Windblade. Okay, so she, Rosier, 
I think that she had the anti-heal. I'm going to have to check. Oh, Clementine. Okay, so very good healer. We'll definitely take her. Uh, Alan Cormac. So I just had one of the weapons for him. We can upgrade Hector. There is Aaron. There is Ralph. Okay, so that's a new hero. And uh, let's see. Yep. And so those two are new. These three and all of these are new. So we already had a couple of them. So perfect. That's a start right there. Uh, I do have, do we have 15? Oh, we have 50. We have to keep pushing though. Let's keep pushing. Uh, see if we can get Merlin. So I'm going to do that. Oof. Come on. Turn gold. Oh. All right. We got some epics. Perfect. Uh, let's see here. And rares. Akalan. All right. So he's new. We got boars. He's new. Okay. So we're building our uh, rare uh, roster. Can't, can't complain about that. All right. So we have heroes to play with now. So you, uh, let me let me go see normal summon. No, not there. Okay. Here we have the special ones. So then again, we're guaranteed one at 60, but we the rates to get one are 1.67%. 1 All right. So here we go. Let's go 10. We're going to do 10 pull, three 10 pulls here. Hopefully we can score something nice. Rares? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Uh, anything new? I think you can skip this here. Look. There we go. I'm going to skip that. Okay. I already had her, so at least she'll get upgraded, which is good. All right. Let's do another 10. Can we get a gold? Can we get a gold? And... Yeah, no, I thought it was going to turn. It tricked me. It tricked me. Okay, here we go. That's the we'll skip that because we only got one blue. Okay, we already had him. Okay, here we go. 30. Come on. Come on. Ah, uh, I'm clicking. And no. Oh, too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. We didn't get a legendary out of that. And we got a rare though. We got a rare. We got a Turin. All right. We can upgrade her. So again, if you wait to get a 10 pop, you guaranteed a rare. All right. So that's essentially what that comes down to. But we did not get any additional legendaries yet. So I'm going to keep working up to Merlin and see if we can get Merlin added to the account. But my roster has expanded. So that's good. Now I have some a variety. Now, if I need a hero with a specific buff or debuff, I can come in and level them and use them accordingly. So we're all good. We we definitely uh, will get more, um, <laughs> uh, Morgan going uh, because she is good. So I don't mind. Let me hold it up so you can kind of see here how everything is working out. Uh, let me make sure I'm not blocking. So you can see the button there at the bottom. And then here, that's just telling me I need to go to the Plane of Beasts to uh, get uh, more of these. Um, uh, I don't think I'm ready for two, or am, am I? Let's let's see. Let me let me run it. We're gonna need stamina. Okay, let's go. Let's skip that. Okay, so here is Penbed. So we need to beat him up. So I'm just gonna let it let it run here. You can kind of get an idea of how things are going. So let me take it. Let me let me see if I can take it out of auto here, so you can kind of see the battle as it goes. Uh, so there are different uh, ways to be this camera. So there's this angle here. So here you can see King Arthur. He uh, he's right now on a cooldown. So we have to wait for him to build his bigger. So I'm just going to hit him. Uh, now let's see how hard he hits. Uh, we're, we're, we're sustaining better than we did last time. So here we go. So this this uh, heals my heroes. So that's essentially what she's doing. So there. Everybody now gains a little bit of HP. Now he can just do damage. There we go. Now here is... She already uh, built up her bigger. So we can use three of the bigger to use that one. Or we can just use uh, the two to uh, use that particular skill right there. So that's essentially it. So here we already have two bigger build. 
So we can use the middle uh, skill here, the one that gives us the opportunity to stun. So you can use it now if you want and use up your bigger, or you can wait to save up for your major one that needs four or three, it needs three. So in the next turn, theoretically, I should have my bigger build. There it goes, three. So then that other skill now will be ready to use. Now, the nice thing about this is if I remember correctly, uh, we can come in here uh, at the start of the battle and we can program our heroes to do their skills during a particular turn. So for example, if I wanted to wait for him to build his bigger and then for somebody to apply a debuff, then I can instruct the AI to say, get this hero to do this before uh, then, uh, for example, King Arthur takes his turn with his major uh, skill. So you have to do that at the beginning of the battle, but those are the little things that we are going to be able to uh, show you here in the future. But this is it. If you are looking for a new game, come over, try it out, click on the link below. Uh, and you know, if just in case uh, you're having uh, a period of boredom with, uh, with a recent game that you might be playing where they did something sketchy uh, with modifying a particular uh, boss in the game, you can definitely come in here and try something new and see if you like it. All right. Thank you all very much for tuning in and watching. I will see you all next time in the next King Arthur's Legends Rise episode. Arthur. Look. <laughs>